Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to remove and or uninstall widgets on your Windows 11 computer. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So first things first, you're going to have to have the name of the widget. So make sure you have that jotted down somewhere and then you want to just type it into Notepad perhaps. So I'm going to actually just open up Notepad on my computer here. And I'm going to have a command in the description of the video here, guys. So I'm just going to go ahead and actually paste it into this notepad file so we can visualize it here for a moment. So you have widget uninstall, and then you have quotation marks, and then you're going to have the widget name. You want to make sure you type in exactly how it appears on your computer, so however the widget is displayed. You want to just paste it in exactly into where this current widget name is being occupied. So in our example, it's going to be the Windows Web Experience Pack, but if you have other widgets, which there are other ones, of course, you can just go ahead and type it into here. And then you're going to just minimize out of the notepad file for a moment, and you want to open up the search menu, type in Terminal, Best match, come back with terminal, go ahead and right click on it and select to run it as administrator. If you receive the user account control prompt, select yes. And now we're going to go back to that notepad file we just minimized and just highlight over and then copy it. If you want to do the control C shortcut on your keyboard, you're welcome to as well. And now you want to just go ahead and paste in this command to so just do control V. Or you could just right click and it would paste it in. And then hit enter and give it a moment here. And you want to tap the Y key on your keyboard, hit enter, and it should say successfully uninstalled. And then once you're done with that, you will need to close out of everything and restart your computer. So I'm going to actually select the on save and then restart your computer. And the widget should be gone at this point. Once you've restarted your device, you can go back into the Windows or Microsoft Store and then go ahead and download the widget from there. So you're welcome to do that in the future if you want. That's how you can get these widgets back down the line. But like I said, pretty straightforward process. I do hope I was able to help you out. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.